Okay, Ken. That's what city onions look like. They're all cleaned up. Three different kinds. White, red, and yellow. Good day, my friends. Bruce and Trudy here. Hello. We're going to dig up our root vegetables today. Our beets, our carrots. These are all the pots that had the flowers in them. They're all dead from frost. And look at her go. She's already doing it. And then the potatoes are going to be dug up over there, Kenny. We're going to get them today. Trudy doesn't want to be in the film. So we'll just come back in a bit. Look, we'll just do her foot. There we go. Look at those beets. They're beautiful. Let me go get a jackknife. So we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> There's some nice ones in there. Look at the size of that bad boy. So we wash the carrots. We don't wash the beets. And we have quite a few yet to go. There's a lot more in there than you think. Thanks, Mrs. P. Well, there. What's that? Four gallons of, of carrots? <clears throat> there probably would have been five, but we the real small short guys we did not save. You do that when times are harder. Thanks. Okay. It's the end of the zucchini. We've got some in there already. Our blue bin, our green bin. Sorry, blue bin. Put planted in my front. So we'll just get rid of this zucchini because they've had a, a couple of frosts and that's it for zucchini. We've even got a few uh, flowers but we don't have the time for them to become a zucchini. And then after that we'll be going over to the, what do you call it, melons. Uh, sorry, squash and pumpkin. Okay, we cut the tops off these potatoes about a month ago for a couple of reasons. But the, but the easiest place to keep them is in the ground if they quit growing. See what we got. Good. Nope, that one was. Okay, so only four out of that one. That one got stabbed a long time ago. Okay, try this, this one right here. Looks like there's only going to be one or two here either. Oh, it's good. They're a great size. Nope, that's it. Four or five per hill, eh? I want to do this one, so it looks like it makes me a little more prolific. So there's one here, there's one here, I'm talking to the camera. <clears throat> Holy concrete! Yeah, 
this and charging a truck, a tractor battery. Oof. Oh, lovely. Oh gosh, that ground is hard. This was nice to solve. A few more potatoes in it too. Perfect. Should be good too. Maybe. There we go. I haven't poked one yet. Down. Okay, we put oh good. Any left? Any what left? Are you still filming? Go ahead. Yeah, we can turn it on. Okay. Point it to the right. Alright. So we're down to th this many potatoes. That's all we got. But that's just perfect for us. Just two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Okay guys, here we go. Same thing as last year. Okay guys, that should do it.
I hope you saw that. That was kind of fun. Okay, my friends. Now it's time to start the most the, the most beautifulest, ugliest rototiller on earth. And uh, I used it this spring, five months ago. May, June, July, August, September. Yes, five months ago. And I'll bring. I'll just come back when I bring the fuel. Okay, this is for Klaus. For some reason, he loves this old thing. He lives in Denmark, which is where half of my family came from. I know about three words in Danish, and two of them you can say on TV. Okay, so it's going to take a bit of pulling. I'll back you guys up so you can get the entertainment value. How many pulls do you think it's going to take? I say, let's get the front down a little bit, it's more level. I say five. We'll turn it over. Okay, let's give it a go. One. much of this. Uh, the ground is really really dry and hard right now. Thanks. So we're on the corner of the garage here. As you can see this is really really dry in here and it's harder than a rock. Well no, that's an exaggeration. But before we dug the carrots from this bed here, my wife just moistened it down with the hose, not to the point of puddle, but just so that it would dig better and you know the pitchfork just slipped into there and dug those carrots out and the beets like nothing. I took the rototiller over here and I bounced and bopped from about here all the way to here and I gave up because it was just killing me and it's not good for the tiller. I mean look at the, rot, the size of some of those chunks. That's from Those chunks are from digging potatoes. But this path here is uh, whoops, for the water is uh, was way too hard. It's just bouncing like crazy. So we'll give it another try tomorrow after this gets moistened down. All right, my friends, it's the next day, and shadows uh, are getting long this time of year. You can see. Things are going good. You get it. So it was my dear wife's idea to uh, moisten it down yesterday. 
And look at that, eh? Pardon me, I'll just... It's in the shadows, so... There's the old stalwart over there, eh? So now I'm going to push the sidewalk back in with the tractor. I have no idea how that's going to go. I don't even know if I should leave the rope attached or not, or... I have no idea. I'm not going to lift up on it anymore. So I think I'm going to take the rope off. Get rid of some things I found in the garden. John Deere tractor key. Move it forward a little bit. Let's go check out our sidewalk. Tracks! Okay, so I gotta come a little bit. See the compost bin there? Gotta come a little bit to the left. That's alright. Pull it back just a little bit. There. Pretty good. Good for another year. Because next year I won't uh, pull the sidewalk out next spring. I'll just 
till here as well garden B and over here as garden A. Thank you my friends for watching this craziness.